Hello, and welcome to another Desync product demonstration. Today we will be showcasing the Revel and QuickBooks Data Connector. In this example, we will be creating a new customer in QuickBooks and synchronizing the new customer details with Revel. We will then also make a change in Revel to the name and watch as it automatically updates in QuickBooks. Desync can map many fields between the two systems. For more information, please talk to our friendly team. Let's get started by logging into our QuickBooks account. Select Sales and then visit the Customer section. Let's add a new customer. For this example, let's call the customer Robert Green, then proceed to save. Desync works in the background to synchronize the QuickBooks details with Revel. Now let's log into Revel to check that the new customer, Robert Green, has been synchronized. As we visit the Customer section, we can see that the new customer has been added. As Desync is a bi-directional platform, it can also make changes to QuickBooks when updates are made in the Revel system. To show you how this works, we will now change Robert's last name to Blue. Once selecting Save, we can now go into QuickBooks and check that the change has taken place. We can now confirm that the two systems are synchronized. Hello, and welcome to part two of the Revel and QuickBooks integration. Part two of our video demonstrates how to self-integrate Revel and QuickBooks. Please help to note that Desync also offers a setup service. Let's begin by logging into Desync. If you don't have a Desync account, simply sign up for a free trial. Once you log into your Desync dashboard, the next step is to select Use System Templates. A pop-up box will appear and will ask you to search for the QuickBooks template. By typing the word QuickBooks, the ready-made template will appear. Select QuickBooks, then select Add This System. When you add QuickBooks to the Desync dashboard, the platform will automatically load common QuickBooks elements onto your Desync dashboard. The next step is to open the system settings. This will bring you into the authorization section where we use OAuth to provide a secure link of the data. Proceed to check the settings and then authorize the connection. As part of the authorization method, you will now be directed to the Intuit QuickBooks Automated Flow. The process will ask you to sign into your QuickBooks account and verify that you would like Desync to connect your data. Now that you have authorized QuickBooks, it is time to set up your Revel account in the Desync dashboard. In the right-hand corner, click on Plus System. A pop-up box will appear asking you to add system for template, select Revel from the ready-made drop-down list. Click on Revel and then select Add This System. To add Revel to the Desync dashboard, you will need the special API key, your individual API secret, and the first part of your Revel URL. These key ingredients can only be obtained by working with Desync and your Revel representative and providing the Revel client authorization letter. We can help you with this process. When you have entered your API key, secret, and special URL, please select Save. This will add Revel systems to your Desync dashboard. The next step in the process is to join the data you would like linked between QuickBooks and Revel systems. In this example, we will be creating a link also known as a relation between customers. On the QuickBooks side, simply click on the data element named Customer, then Create a Relation. Then on the Revel side, simply click on the data element also named Customer. A pop-up box will appear asking you to name the link. This process will be helpful if you need to make changes at a later stage. When naming your job, you can name the connection anything you wish. By naming the job, this will create a link or a line between the two customer data endpoints in QuickBooks and in Revel. The next step will be to create a map for the data to be moved. We create maps in case you would like the data from one system to another to be formatted in a specific way. A map is also used as there may be multiple data elements under the customer. For example, a name, address, phone number, date of birth. Once you create a map, you can edit the map and the underlying data points. To edit the map, simply click on the lines between the two data points and on the right-hand side, select Edit. 
When editing a map, the first thing to do is to make sure all of the required fields are paired with another matching element. Required fields can be identified next to the red asterisk next to the data name. Here's an important mapping tip for integrating QuickBooks with Revel systems. Created by is a required field in QuickBooks. To match created by with a Revel data point, you will need to enter a custom field. To match with a custom field, simply click next to the data point, then select Add Custom Field. We will now enter in a string constant. For this example, the created and update field needs to be a user in Revel, specified by their ID. For further help with mapping Revel and QuickBooks data, please feel free to talk to our team. Now that we have mapped from QuickBooks to Revel, we will need to switch and map from Revel to QuickBooks. To switch directions of the data flow, simply click on the two arrows to reverse the workflow. Follow the same process by matching the data elements you would like to match from Revel to QuickBooks. Sometimes data fields are easy to match, for example, first name and last name. Desync also gives you the ability to join data elements together. For example, if you would like to join the first name and the last name together. An easy way to join the two together is to select the two fields, then select Add a Custom Field. Then in the top toolbar, connect the string of data together in your required format. After mapping both directions of the data, the next step is to set the schedule for when you would like data to be synchronized. Another great feature is that you can set the direction and the time of the job to run. Within the scheduler, you can set the job to run every minute, hour, day, month, or year. After you have created your map and set the time for the data to be processed, please select the Enable button in the right corner of your desync dashboard. And you're done! If you have any questions or need any extra support, please feel free to reach out. We love to help.